A hero home at last. The remains of a World War II soldier who was missing for decades will finally be laid to rest tomorrow in his hometown of Zealand. News 8's Jacqueline Francis talked with his family today. Jacqueline? It's been nearly 80 years since Corporal Laverne Van Dyke was declared missing in action. His remains were recently identified, putting an end to a mystery that spans generations. Touching down in Grand Rapids, Steve Klum parents came from Maryland to lay his great uncle to rest. The two never met. Corporal Laverne Dirk Van Dyke was an engineer in the Air Force when his plane went down in 1943 while on a mission in New Guinea. It's very, you know, mountainous and jungly there, and, it, and the aircraft kind of got swallowed up by the jungle, and uh, they were never found. Fifty years later, in 1998, someone discovered the wreckage, along with the remains of all seven soldiers on board. In 2018, Van Dyke's remains were identified using laboratory analysis and circumstantial evidence. They look at DNA, they looked at bone structure, medical records, and even shoes uh, to analyze the crew members. Which led them to Steve, the closest living relative, coming to West Michigan to lay his great uncle to rest in his hometown of Zealand. He's with the rest of his family, his, his father and siblings are, are, are buried there. A graveside service with full military honors will take place tomorrow. I appreciate the closure and I appreciate what the what the people in the Army and the Defense Department have done to to you know to bring back our our troops any way they can you know no matter how long. The funeral service will be at 10 tomorrow morning at Zealand Cemetery. In studio, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.